morning everyone this is Natalie and this is another morning breeze with Natalie Joy <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome time I hope you guys are having a blessed morning I'm out here on the morning breeze as you can see and I hope you guys are enjoying those pictures because honestly like I take them myself and I just love being able to express um, just the beauty of God in different ways and forms and sometimes we just see things and we overlook them but if we take a closer look we can see such a different perspective and, and, and the real beauty of a flower of uh, even the tree bark I, I was walking past some trees today and um, the way that the pattern of the bark was it was just so beautiful I had to stop and take a look so I'm going to share it with you guys as well and I hope you enjoy it. Anyhow, um, on this morning, the message is love them anyways. Love them anyways. And uh, I was just walking with the Lord as I do on these morning breeze and, and, and that's what was just resounding in my spirit. Love them anyways. You know, we go through different seasons in life, and uh, I want to invite you guys all to uh, our Youth District Convention. It's going down this weekend at 41 Torberry Road, which is Faith Worship Center, the South Central Ontario District. PCG Youths are having our annual youth convention, and um, I will be one of the speakers. I will be speaking on the Friday night, which is the 24th. And um, yeah, it's going to be a great time in God. And um, I would love to see you guys come out and support the young people because God is doing mighty things even through the young people in this generation. There's a new generation rising and uh, they know and they love God. So come out. <laughs> um, but love anyways. Love anyways. That's what was resounding and residing in my spirit this morning. And... It just resonated so much um, with everything that's going on and I know for many of us too this is a very trying season and um, a lot of the things that are being tested is, is is our relationships friends loved ones parents siblings husbands wives we are being challenged in our relationships we are being challenged in our connections and uh, sometimes the temperature of what's going on in life around us affects the temperature of the relationships we have of the close connections that we have because sometimes in life things just get hard and rough and situations get heavy and the majority of the time is even though we're afraid to admit it or we don't want to admit it we really lack true understanding of how to handle pressure and this is a problem for us we get weighed down in life and instead of confronting situations we run away from them and that never ever resolves anything <laughs> it may give you temporary and momentarily um, bring some sort of relief but it doesn't resolve anything if anything it leaves a big hole and a gap in your life that you have to end up going and fix because as time progresses the hole gets bigger and bigger and deeper and deeper and most times you find yourself stuck in that hole because you chose to run away from it so when we reach those those hard and rocky places in life um, it's, it's hard for us to understand how to deal with the pressure of the situation and the circumstance and then on top of that now maybe deal with how to interact with those around us and deal with their opinions and their different ways on how they they know to help sometimes the conflicts can come just by people not understanding or the communication not being there on how to help in a situation. There we go. Yeah, we hitting the heavy stuff today. Sometimes conflict comes because 
and this is most commonly with parents and their kids the kid is having a problem the parents trying to help them resolve it but the way that the parent knows how to resolve it or thinks that the kid needs it to be resolved is not the way that the kid wants it to be resolved or how it needs to be resolved and so there creates conflict and when you get into this conflict that's when feelings start to get hurt oh man this kid that I you know I carried in my belly for nine months they don't they don't even appreciate that I'm trying on my best to help them here or oh this person that I've given my all to oh yeah mom caught me on morning breeze this morning everybody say hi to mama miller say hi mama miller you're on morning breeze <laughs> the miller's getting snatched this morning <laughs> anyways so sometimes these things create conflicts and we don't understand how to process it and instead of you know understanding rationally at that point in time sometimes we lash out sometimes we get in our feelings we be getting in our feelings people I be getting in my feelings <laughs> and we do the wrong things and we make irrational decisions and these these connections they get broken and people begin to hurt and then we play the blame game oh he did this oh she did that but the spirit of God is saying it doesn't matter what they've done it doesn't matter what they've done. It doesn't matter how they hurt you. It doesn't matter how you felt betrayed. It doesn't matter if they were wrong or if they were right. It doesn't matter. Spirit of God is saying today, if you feel hurt by somebody, if somebody did you dirty, <laughs> if they did you dirty, they abandoned you if they hurt you if they neglected you if they betrayed you if they abused you love them anyways oh but Natalie what are you talking about you don't know what this person did to me love them anyways how can I forgive my abuser? Forgive them anyways and move on. Heal from it. I'm telling you, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know it hurts. I know it's hard. I know that it wasn't supposed to end up like this. I know that things didn't, didn't turn out to your favor so it looks like. I know like it's, it seems like there's no repercussion that they're experiencing and that they got the upper hand even though they were the, the one who did the abusing or they were the one who disrespected you or they were the one who neglected you or love them anyways, forgive them anyways. I'm telling you, you harboring that hurt and that pain inside of you it doesn't do anything for you but cause you grief, cause you pain. And these effects, sometimes we think we're, they're just spiritual or emotional. So no, sometimes it becomes even literal. You feel yourself physically getting sick because of all the angst that is within your soul, within your spirit. You need to let them go. You need to love them. The Bible says that if men... Who are being evil and wicked they can love people who do good things to them it's easy for them to do that sinners they can do that regular people they can do that anybody can do that if we call ourselves children of God 
We have to be one step ahead. One step above. Those who hurt us, those who persecute us, those who wrongfully accuse us, those who betray us, those who use, use us, spitefully use us. We forgive them anyways, we love them anyways. Because that's what Jesus did for us. Plain and simple. God forgave us. God loved us. God shows us compassion. So if he can do that for you, you can do it for someone else. Anyways, I'm not going to take any, much, uh, any more time. God bless you guys. This is the Morning Breeze as usual. My name is Natalie Joy. And I hope that in this season in your life, that you will not only contemplate the things of God, but you'll actually do them. I love you with the love of God. Have a wonderful day. Bye.